Will and I are going on an adventure. We're going down below the Earth's surface into a massive cave. Fantastic caverns! Well, you know, we don't get as many locals. <laughs> All right. Mushrooms. 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 They're a fungus, so they do not require light. But they would harvest them, take them to the area towns and into Springfield, to the restaurants and grocery stores and farmers market, and it helped ends meet during the Depression. Hey, as we go through the cave, we're going to be driving on that riverbed, the river that formed this cave, and the ceiling. At one time, that was the bottom of an ocean. So it'll be kind of an interesting way to look at the cave as you go through. I'm going to make a request of everybody, if you could please refrain from touching the ceiling or any of the stone as we go through, because we have oil on our hands. The oil rubs off on the stone, then the water, carrying the calcite to make the formations just cannot stick. So if you could help me with that, I'd sure appreciate it. Well, let's head on down the road, folks. There's more to see. I'm going to give you a hint about what you'll be seeing in the cave and how it was made.
affected by water. Well, the formation of your little section, that water percolates through the soil, through the limestone, brings through calcite, starts to make stalactite. Those are the ones that hang on the are hollow, like a soda straw. After a while, they'll clog up, then the water runs on the outside, and they'll start to form the more traditional type of stalactites we'll see as we go through the cave. The ones that have the spotlight on now are called cave curtains and drapes. That's the angel wing or knife plate. That one has a nice curl to it. But see, the water dripping down, that means it is alive and growing. That water's left behind just a little bit of that calcite to help it grow. And on this instance, it's dripping down onto a stalagmite on the floor to help it grow. Someday, long, long time, they'll grow together. And we call that a column or a pillow. And as we go through the cave, you may notice the uh, formations developing on the wall. We call that flowstone. That's where the water has come out between the seams and the limestone, developing that type of formation. You know, I can't tell you how old these are because you can vary them wet years, dry years, etc. But down the road, a little error happened by a miscalculation with that formation. Began to grow, and those I can tell you the age, and I bet you all can pick out real quick what that error was. Alrighty, take a peek around on the walls and the ceiling. Don't forget to look at the walls. Everybody looks at the ceiling and the stalactite, you know, along the walls. Thank you. 